Okay, what happens when you stomp out grapes, man? The blood of the grapes splatters on your body, man. That's right. Okay, so the Lord's being described as spot, as killing a lot of Edomites, man. That's right. Okay, that's a metaphor for what the Lord's about to come back and do, man. He's comparing you to blood to the grapes that he's about to crush, man. That's right. Okay. I have trodden down the wine press alone, and of the people there was no with me. Look. And of the people there was none with me. If I would trap them in my anger, trumpet them in my fury, and their bl blood shall be sprinkled upon my garment, and I will stand all my remnant. For, for the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of redeem, redeem is come. Right. The Lord said that the day of vengeance is in, his, is in his heart, and the year of his redeemed is come. Has that happened yet? No. Nope. Has the day of the Lord's vengeance come yet? Okay, has the, has the year of his redeemed come yet? No. Nope. Did the Lord come back and save his elect yet? No. Nope. And render vengeance upon his enemies yet? Nope. No, man. Which is to mean that the Edomites are cut, are still here, man. Right. And the Lord is going to come back to for, the, for his redeemed. And he's going to come back to judge them. Okay, to judge the heathen, man, the Edomites, man. There's more? Five. And I looked, and there was none to help. And I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury, it upheld me. Shah, man. Again, that's talking about Yahweh Shah, man. He's, he's, he represents the arm of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, because Most High operates um, in his fullness through Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, the Most High uh, gave all judgment unto Yahweh Shai, man. He gave all dominion and power unto him, man. Okay. Oh, man. That scripture proves that Edom is still around. Exactly. The day of the Lord's vengeance ain't the day of the Lord's vengeance without Edom. Exactly. <laughs> that, those are the people that he's going to have his um, vengeance on. Come on, man. The people of his curse to judgment, man. So how the fuck they going to be gone? So the Lord ain't going to be able to do his thing? Man, that's right, man. And again, that's out of the book of Isaiah, man. Okay, the book of Isaiah is, is the book in the Bible that talks about the gospel. Okay, the good tidings. That's first mentioned and most for the most part in the book of Isaiah, man. Okay, and the good tidings is for Israel, but also in that same book, it talks about the judgment of the heathen every other chapter, man. Okay, so the good news for Israel, okay, is also that their enemies be judged by the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. That's right. And their main enemy is the Edomites, man. Okay, Psalm 83, man. You got something else? Yeah, yeah. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 49, verse 12. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, days whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have surely drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Right, who are they that had, that, uh, sh sh uh, uh, Salaki, read it again. Salaki. God, this is the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 49, verse 12. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, days whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. Right, the scriptures say, They whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. Who's that talking about, man? That's talking about the 12 tribes of Israel, man. That's right. Okay, the tribe of Judah, the tribe of Benjamin. All right, they make, and on down, they make up the, the nation of Israel, man. Okay, they're the ones who, whose judgment was not to drink of the cup. Okay, and that cup is the is the cup of the Lord's wrath, mainly slavery, man. Okay, our people were meant to be kings, man, to be priests unto the Most High above all the nations, man. All right, and have the other nations serving under them, man. But the Most High brought judgment upon them. Why? Because they sinned before Him, man. Okay, this reminds you. This is the this is the apple of the Lord's eye. Okay, this is His peculiar treasure, man. Okay, so if they went through the judgment, what do you think that's gonna happen to you, heathens, man? Like, the Lord brought judgment upon his own people, man. His peculiar treasure, all right? Like, he, he went through, he went, like, the Most High went all the way, all like, all out just to deliver this people from Egypt, man. He went as far as to harden Pharaoh's heart just so he could flex on the Egyptians and show that he dealing with Israel, man. That's right. Okay? So the Most High went through all of that to separate them as his people, and then he judged those same people because they sinned against him. So what makes you think that he's not going to bring judgment upon you, man? That's right. What makes you think that the, that the heathens could just somehow just be saved and it's all good, man? When you ain't been through none of the judgments yet, man. Right. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, all right? And art thou he that shall altogether go upon us? Go shall not go upon us, 
thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Verse 13. For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord. The Lord swore by himself, saith the Lord. Okay? And one of the, one of the ma major parts of the scriptures where the Lord swore by himself is when he made promise to Abraham, man. Okay? That he would multiply his seed, that he would ble blessing will I bless thee, and multiplying will I multiply thee. Okay? That, that seed shall be as the stars of heaven, man. The Most High made, swore by himself, man. Why? Because he could swear by no higher, man. It is impossible for the Most High to lie. Okay? So the Most High fulfilled his promise to Abraham based off of what? Him swearing by himself, man. Keeping his promise, man. So now the Most High is swearing by himself for what? Go ahead, Art. For I have swore by myself, saith the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation, God. a reproach, a waste, and a curse. And all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. Verse 14. I have heard a rumor from the Lord, an ambassador sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather ye together, and come up against her, and rise up to the battle. Right, man, that's what we're seeing today. You're seeing all these nations gathering up, man, for the final Third World War, which the brothers done brought out before, that all these nations will turn on America That's right. That's right. and blow America up with intercontinental ballistic missiles. All right? You fucking right. people of America are through, man. Your That's last right. days are here, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. God. Verse 15. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen right. and despised among men. Right. And that started with the so-called white man, the so-called white woman, the so-called white child. You are despised among the heathen, all right? They hate your guts. That's why they're gonna nuke America, all right? Because this is your chief capital of the so-called white, okay, nation, all right? Verse 16, thy terribleness hath deceived thee and the pride of thy heart. O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill, though Thou shouldest make thy nets as high as the eagle, who, who has space stations in space, man. Not these people. Right? It's, the, it's Esau, it's these so-called white people, man. You're the one building your, your space stations, okay, in the stars, man, and the, and the firmaments of heaven, man. That's right. Continuing on. Thy nets as high as the eagle. I will bring thee down. From death, saith the Lord, right? That's why you see America in the condition that it is, man. Because once you started shooting rockets into space and building your little space station, man, the Lord started bringing this country down heavy, man. All right? And all you, 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 you Edomites, man, you all feeling a burden. Why? Because you're all in fucking debt, man. Continuing on. Verse 17. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. And everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at the plagues thereof. Right, man? All these other nations, man, and then the elect, us mainly, we're going to be like, man, look what the fuck happened to these so-called white people. They got their judgment, man. They got, they got put to death, man, via intercontinental ballistic missiles. All right? This is in the scriptures, man, and this is a future prophecy. This has not happened yet. All right? Last part. Get Right here is the key point. Verse 18, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord, no man shall abide there, neither shall son of man dwell in it. When did the so-called white people get overthrown like Sodom and Gomorrah? When did fire come out of the sky and burn Edomites? God. Never, not yet. Came up. When did that happen? God, jump it down to 22. Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty man of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pains. God, That's man. The Lord going to come with them chariots, man, and you Edomites are going to shit yourselves, man. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's the book of Obadiah. Uh, verse, uh, verse 15. 
for the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Verse 16. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, <laughs> uh, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yeah, they shall drink and they shall swallow down. And they shall be as though they had not been. Come on, man. They shall be as though as they, as they had not been, man. They shall be as though it, they had not been. Why? Because the Edomites are on top right now, man. Okay, you, you Edomites are ruling in the end of the world, like it says in, in Second Ezra, man. Okay? But when the, when y'all when y'all begin to be judged by the Heavenly Father, man, okay, the scriptures talk about the curses coming upon our enemies, man. Okay? Y'all gonna be as though y as y'all had not been, man. Y'all gonna be on the bottom, man, begging for mercy, man. Okay? When the Lord comes back and puts shackles on you, goddamn heathens, man. That's right. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 8 Shall I not in that day set the Mosai even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the out of the mount of Esau and the mighty and thy mighty men O Teman shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter Okay man okay so the Lord said he going to destroy the mighty man out of Edom Okay, he's going to destroy the wise men out of Edom, man. And the day's going to come where the Most High is going to cut off all you Edomites by slaughter, man. Okay? That's what's going to happen, man. There's going to be a, 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 a time will come in the kingdom where the Most High ordains for all Edomites to be exterminated, man. That's right. Okay? From the planet Earth. This is the book of Proverbs 29 and 16. It says, when the wicked are multiplied, transgressions increase. But the righteous shall see their fall. God, man, when the wicked are multiplied, transgressions are increased, man. But right. the righteous shall see their fall, man. Okay, and who's the wicked? You eat much of the wicked, man. And you spread wickedness throughout the, the planet Earth, man. But the Lord has a remnant, man. It's to say that uh, that they cannot deceive the very elect, man. Okay, that most that they, uh, nobody can take them out of the Lord's hand, man. Okay, so when Yahweh Shah comes back, man, there's gonna be a remnant. Okay, to be saved, man, there's gonna be a remnant preserved, man, that had not bowed the, the, uh, the knee, the image of all, man, that had not accepted the new world order, man, that had not took the mark of the beast, man, okay? Whether whether they had to die, whether they had to be martyred, or so be it, man, they kept their faith and their integrity in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, That's right. okay? Wisdom Solomon 3. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of Yahweh. Right. There shall no torment touch them. Two, in the sight of the unwise they seem to die. And they and their departure is taken from misery. Three, and they're going from us to be utter destruction. But they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Come on, man. Our hope is, is full of immortality, man. No matter what I can go through, man. No matter what, what tribulation come upon us, man, we still rejoice in our tribulations, man. Right. Because we know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is on our side, man. Okay, that that, that, chastening, that chastening is to make us better, man. Okay? Whether it be for us to hasten the day, whether it be to purge out uh, some lust, okay, or whatever leaven that be in us, man. Okay, the Most High allows that to happen to us because we're His sons, man. Okay, and the Most High loves His sons, therefore He chastens them, man. Okay, so that's why no torment touches, even if death come up, uh, upon us, man. Because that can't separate us from the love of the Most High, right. man. Right. Right and having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded, for the power proved them and found them worthy for himself. Right. Six, as a as gold in a furnace, as he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. Come on, man. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine, man, and run to and fro as sparks among the stubble, man. Okay, because the Lord's going to come back, and he's going to save his elect, man. He's going to give them the, uh, them new glorious bodies, man. Okay, they're going to be changed into the glorious body of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, to have a body like him, man. Okay, so they're going to be as sparks among the stubble, man. They're going to be the sparks, and you people are going to be the stubble, man. Okay? They're going to be running around like the flash putting you people to death, man. That's right. Yeah, and even, even on this side, before the Lord comes, the Lord's going to be doing... 
the Lord gonna have his man doing works on this side. Right. So the Lord gonna have his man even shine him even before he come, you know, through his spirit. Um, cause um, up to the utmost parts of the earth, the um, the Lord's man gonna gonna do great works, man. That's right. When when martial law and it's, it's it's no food out here, man. The, the Lord's men um, gonna be all right. They gonna shine, man. M amongst these people, who gonna fucking lose they fucking minds. That's right. Dying left and right. You know. Wow. And they they shall judge the nation and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. Nine. They that put their trust in Him shall understand the truth, and such as to be faithful in love shall abide with Him for grace. Mercy to his saints, and he have care for, for, for his elect. God, man. Grace and mercy unto his saints, man. And the Lord had care for his elect, man. All right, he chose them, man. That's why we're getting saved out of here, man, because the Lord chose that. that the reason why the elect are getting saved out of here, Lord, wouldn't we be of the elect? Is because the Lord chose us from the foundation of the world, man. Right. Okay, from before the foundation of the world, man. Before the Most High created the earth, the moon, the stars, the sun, and the rest of the universe, and all the things that inhabit. Okay, the Lord chose his elect, man, to be saved, man, to be in rulership above the above the nations, man. That's right. This is uh, the book of Job, chapter 13, verse 15. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. God, man. Play, man. No, the Lord, the Lord. That's the faith that the men of the Lord are supposed to have, man. Though the Lord slay, slay them, yet shall they maintain their trust in him, man. That's right. Okay, because it's all the judgment of the Heavenly Father, man. We trust that he's wise and he's good, okay, and that he's working everything out for for uh, for our benefit, man. Whether we live or die, man. Whether we be wake or sleep, man. We shall uh, we shall be uh, rise and be accepted with him, man. Okay. Yeah, we gonna bring out the great, the book of Hebrews, chapter twelve, verse five. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastising of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuke of him. Verse 6. From whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourges every son whom he receiveth. Verse 7. If ye endure chastening, the Most High delivereth with you, dealeth with you, Salakia, as with sons, for what son is who he is he whom the father chastised and not? Right, man. So we're supposed to be going through this hell, man. We're supposed to be uh, having scoffers. We're supposed to be having uh, um, what's it called? The so-called white man, okay? Do all types of uh, shit to us. But guess what? The Lord put uh, sees this, and he, he he's gonna make sure that uh, we're gonna endure through this, man. All right, because he knows, okay, that we believe on him, man, and we're not going to faint, man. We're going to have faith on him. Uh, and the Lord allows that because he wants us to be partakers of his holiness, man. God. Right, because Yahushai was chastised, he was put on the cross. Right. So the Lord makes us better than him, man. Exactly. All right, so we got to get it, man. We got to get, okay, affliction, and we got to catch hell. What the scriptures say, the servant is not greater than his master. God. Verse 8. But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. So you all you um heathens, right? Start with you heathens, alright? You're living it good, alright? So y'all bastards, alright? And you two-third Jakes, you celebrities, okay? Mayweather um, and all them, all right? What kind of chastise are you getting, man? All right? So right now, y'all bastards, man. Right. We'll see you on the other side. Sure. You're right. That's right. It's right. the book of Revelation 3, and I'm going to start at 18. It says, I counsel thee to buy me a gold tried in the fire, thou may, that thou mayest be rich in, wh in white raiment, and that thou mayest be clothed and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear and anoint thy eyes with eyes of that thou mayest see. Yeah, man, so we're going to have to go through that fire, man. All right, that we, that we may appear uh, spotless, man. All right, when Yahweh shot comes, man. This verse uh, 19 says, As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. 
be therefore jealous, be zealous therefore and repent, man. So we're supposed to repent, man. When the Lord, when the uh, the Lord, He gonna put us through that chastisement, man. He gonna put us through that furnace, that fire of furnace of affliction, man. That's only for us to uh, to come out uh, as pure gold, man. That's how you try gold, you put it through fire, man. And that's what we going through, man. We gotta we gotta deal with these people, man. We gotta uh, we gotta deal with these heathens, man. You know, and we we we, we maintain, you know, our righteousness, you know, uh, uh, by by trusting in Yahweh Shema Shai, man. And Lord willing, we appear spotless, man. We see the clean thing, we get delivered out of this hell, man. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. And Lord willing, we endure to the end, not faint. Right. Jump to verse 8. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are troubled. We're in the valley of shadow of death, man. It's Babylon, America, man. There's trouble all around us. We got right. demons all around us, even in your own household, man. That's right. Uh, it says, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed. But not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. The prophets of old, they was persecuted. The prophets are here today. They're being persecuted. There's nothing new under the sun, you know? But uh, basically, we're troubled on every side, but hey, the spirit of the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shot upon us to right. endure. That's right. So we, we must endure to the end and keep fighting, man. And keep praying and keep reading the Bible. Ah, man. Okay. That's why the scriptures say cast down but not destroyed, man. We are troubled on every on uh, every side but not distressed, man. Why? Because we trust in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh man. That's right. Okay, so no matter what comes upon us, we understand that that's the will of the Lord. Okay, and He has our best interest in mind, man. That the world is made for our sakes, man. Okay? And the reason why we're going through this.